Hey guys, this is Catherine Cooksey with another Artist Aid video. Today we're going to be talking about your artist statement. Uh, what are the words to avoid? How long should it be? And why do you even need one, right? You're an artist. Do people read them? Yes, they do. That's why it's so important for you to have a strong artist statement and to take the time to make one uh, perfect for what you're trying to say through your art. So we're gonna talk about that today, even pull some examples from the internet to go through and edit out. So stay tuned. First things first, what are the words to avoid in your artist statement? And we will get more into this when we pull up examples online of artist statements and go through and start editing that. But the main ones are passionate. So I am very passionate about making art. No, you don't want to say that. And why is that? Because you might feel, yes, I'm very passionate about making art. It's my biggest passion in life is to make art. The problem with saying I'm passionate about making art is that every single person who doesn't really know how to write an artist statement that gets right to the point of what your art is, is going to start off their artist statement with I am passionate about blank. Um, so if you want to stand out from every single other artist statement, scratch out I am passionate and never ever use it in an artist statement again. Also create. I am um, creative because I was born uh, with a passion <laughs> to create. Uh, I've read several different ways that people use create. Don't use creative ever in your artist statement either because again, same thing with being passionate, it's overused and you're an artist. It's a given that you're probably going to be creative. Some of the other words to avoid other than passionate and creative are impressionistic, innovative, immersive, inspired, unique, honest, driven, activist, activate, dynamic, emerging, iconic, inventive, original, poetic, transformative, and contemporary. You should avoid all of these words. Don't worry, I will put a list of these in the comment section below so that you can read over them when you're looking at your own artist statements. How long should your artist statement be? Well, if you are a professional artist, it should be a paragraph long, four to five sentences. Anything longer than that is too long. You're not getting to the point soon enough. So um, really go through your artist statements, take out the sentences that um, are unimportant, um, are repetitive, um, or that the person reading it already knows about you. They already know you're an artist. They already know that you're creating they already know you're passionate. What are you exactly trying to say within your art? And just say it. You don't have to go through, I was born here, I'm living in here, unless it's really truly important to the artwork that you're creating. And some artists, it is. But make sure you're trying to figure out exactly how to say that in four to five sentences. So why do you even need an artist statement? Well, you do. <laughs> Uh, you need an artist statement for a variety of different reasons. Unfortunately, you as an artist, you are probably a very visual person. You make art because that is the best form of communication for you. That's how you communicate with others is through your artwork. And then they say, oh, that's great, but we also need an artist statement for you, from you and you just you lose your mind because you don't, that's not how you communicate with others. And some art, you really want other people to pull from your artwork what you're wanting them to experience through it. And so sometimes an artist statement can feel like you're directing people into seeing your artwork one way. And uh, there's different ways to avoid this. Uh, having a very generic artist statement is not going to help you uh, when people are looking at your artwork. Try and make it as unique as your artwork, which is another word you want to avoid in your artist statement. But try and really make it 
if you want your um, art artist statement to not say very much, say that in your artist statement. Be very honest with your viewers because if your artist statement and your artwork don't really seem like they come together very well or connect or this just they don't they don't see uh, what you're saying within your artwork this can be a huge negative on how people experience your work right so make sure that everything you put in your artist statement is you being honest you can be an artist who <laughs> says there's no way I'm writing an artist statement. Unfortunately, most of the things like working with a gallery, uh, they will ask you for that and insist that you have one. There is another option though. You can have someone else write your artist statement. And this is a wonderful exercise that I did when I was going through grad school is my peers would write an artist statement for us. And it's a, it's a way to see your artwork that you've never seen it before through someone else's idea of what you're trying to say. So what I did for you was go back through the last couple years and pull out my old artist statements to see where I started off to where I am now as, as far as the editing process. Um, so this is 2013 and I was just trying to apply to grad school. So I was really interested in making my words sound smart. And as you can read in the first sentence, it doesn't even quite make sense. <laughs> uh, and this is a very bad strategy for your artist statement. You don't want to further confuse your viewers. You want to make your artist statement as easy as possible for a person to read and then look at your artwork which is complicated and help them understand it should be an aid not something that confuses them even more so take out some of the sentences that don't make sense <laughs> avoid long sentences that um, really is not necessary like this first sentence fed the fervor of their ascending societal rank women used to women use their influx of power setting in motion a new era of femininity. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't help anything. What I was trying to say here is that we're reaching a new era of femininity, but people already know that. They know that women's rights have progressed, so there's really no point in me saying that. It has nothing really to, to do um, specifically with the art that I'm making. So moving on into 2015 is when I was in grad school. We were actively looking at our um, artist statements. This again is still too long, um, but it's a, a little bit more simplistic on the language, more direct in what I was trying to say, even with the first sentence, I do not want to have the conversation about others objectifying women. Um, and so we could, we could pull this apart, but um, this is really important. Like my participation was not from being pressured by outside sources, but my family. Like this you really don't need. Um, my artwork, that is um, something you want to avoid when we were talking about the um, avoid words and phrases. My artwork. Try and find a different way to say, to approach a sentence like, a sentence like this. Because when people just read my artwork, they, their brains kind of turn off. Um, and something, the pride and importance placed on physical bodies, let's make that simpler. Um, the pride, take out importance. Pride plus place on like if you can take out words that aren't necessary do that really coming down to DNA how about coming down to DNA so from there is a vast difference between um, what I was doing in 2015 to 2016 and it was just by going sentence by sentence 
and looking at each one and figuring out how they go together if it's important, all of which promotes actively looking at our own bodies. Like, I, if this was me talking to someone else about their artist statement, um, this part is something that we already know. Part of the goal of making ourselves attractive comes with seeking approval and acknowledgement from others. That is something that is already obvious to our culture, so I really don't need it in this statement. I'm not telling the viewer anything that they don't already know about our society. What I should be saying is what I, what my conversation as an artist is about our culture, not what our car culture is, but what I'm trying to say about it. Culture, what culture decides is beautiful, communicated to us through advertisement, social media, sex industry, and beauty competitions. Again, a lot of people already know that that exists in the world. I don't need to be educating them. Um, so like already we can pull apart uh, sentences. I'm seeing this one right here. Of course, there are various tools used um, in the attempt to fix our imperfections, makeup, diet, exercise. Like this type of um, listing is really unnecessary. I would need to figure out a way to say this without listing something out because that just makes it longer. So let's go down again 2016 you can really see how much shorter this has gotten with just pulling apart everything that is unnecessary to say that doesn't um directly talk about my artwork my site began slowly deteriorating at the age of 12. now this is it's a good way to start off an artist statement because this is probably unlike most people's artist statement. It's honest, um, it's different, it's not talking about my art directly. It's not my art is about my eyesight. Um, it's just a statement. My sight began slowly deteriorating at the age of 12. Done. And that leaves a viewer thinking, what the heck? Why is this artist talking about their eyesight? What does that have to do with their art? So it already gets them actively engaged in what your story is. Rejections and prejudice of the disabled in academia led me to seek out other means of fulfillment. Okay, so that's um, moving on into my eyesight gave me trouble in school led me to other means of fulfillment. Is this art? Uh, let's keep reading. This came in the form of beauty. So it's not even about my art yet. We're almost in the at the end of the first paragraph without even mentioning my art. This is because my concept behind my artwork is about my own history. So for different artists, this approach would be very different. But as you can see, we're not using any of those, um, you know, words that we want to stay away from. There's no passion. There's no creative. There's just truth and honest and why I came to beauty pageants, which then led me into art. Using my experience, I critique the unrealistic display of, perfect, of the perfected physical form and the pressures to obtain it. My perspective, now this is something I would probably um, take out uh, or ask the artist to find a different way to try and say that, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes that is the best and simplest way to communicate, so those types of things are okay too. Um, insider and outer of the mainstream stereotype of beauty. Overall, so this last sentence is the only time where I say my work. Um, 
and going on directly to what my work talks about. So as you can see, 2017, basically with this newest artist statement is this statement, but um, kind of mixed around. It's always good to keep updating your statements. Every time your artwork is, is changing, you're thinking about something new, you should relook at your statement and think about what are the changes, what could I add, um, a lot of artists will just write an artist statement and that will be their artist statement for 20 years, which if you're still doing the same thing 20 years later, then that's fine. But most artists won't be doing the same thing. And it's as an artist, you want to keep progressing in your, um, in your study of the topic or idea or technique that you're doing. And so you're Artist statement should really reflect that, and you should see a progress. Uh, so again, this is uh, I like the two paragraph because it, they're kind of two different ideas. You can make one paragraph. Uh, it, it's just really a visual thing for me. Um, success in pageantry pageantry proved to be both my salvation as well as a burden. Now I I feel that this is a stronger sentence than. The last sentence because it gets it hits the nail on the head with um, I'm not even dealing with my eyesight until after what is my work about it's about my success in pageantry how I loved it and hated it at the same time that is really exactly what my work talks about my eyesight um, developed early on in my life but it's not the main focus of my artwork pageantry is and so having this be my first statement is really getting the message across to my viewers exactly what i'm trying to say then i, I do mention my eyesight because it is important with how i'm looking at the world and art and beauty um, my sight began slowly deteriorating at the age of 12 and will continue to do so throughout my life with no cure. Um, very direct, not trying to be overly um, using vocabulary or complicated sentences. The rejection and uh, prejudices I experienced. So as you can see, it's a lot of the same from above. Just a couple sentences moved around. Um, and this will change in a few months and it should already probably be updated um, because it's constantly changing. Change your um, artist statement as much as you can. Um, this is something I would talk about. I, 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 my. Um, yes. My artwork is about me and my perspective, but I, my goal with this is to try and figure out a way to not just make it about me, 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 because yes, it's my um, experiences, but I want to use my experiences to talk about broader issues with other women in society. So, um, Hopefully this helped a little bit. Again, if you want to send me your own artist statement and I can just run through it with you, not on a YouTube video, but um, this is, is something I really enjoy. We did it a lot in uh, grad school and it's always interesting to see how people connect their own artwork. Just to talk a little bit about, uh, I had mentioned in the video that you can get other people to write your own artist statement. This, I am both an outsider and an insider of mainstream beauty, is a sentence that one of my class rate, classmates wrote um, when we were doing this exercise, and it was just perfect, and I had never thought about it in this way myself. So don't be afraid to ask someone to write your artist statement for you and to be able to see your artwork in a different perspective. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. It really helps me and it makes it easier to communicate with you if you're interested in more videos like this. Also, 
please send me your artist statements if you would like me to look over it. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love going through and moving the sentences around. It's almost a visual exercise that I really enjoy. Uh, thank you again so much for watching and give this a thumbs up if you thought it was useful and any comments below are welcome. Thank you again.